Hello friends, if you are suffering from hair loss, I am sure you must be looking for a lot of options and one of the most common treatment options which you must have heard of is Minoxidil. Minoxidil is one of the best hair loss treatment medicines available till date and you must know what the side effects are, how to use it, what are the long term prospects of saving your hair when you use Minoxidil. I am sure many of you must have used Minoxidil and most of you must be planning to do so. So this video is very useful and contains loads of information. Please watch this video till end. And if you haven't already subscribed our channel, please do so. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that we can send all the notifications of all the new videos where we discuss. Uh, hair loss, hair treatments, hair transplants in detail. So, I'm your friend Dr. Shail Gupta and I've been doing hair transplants since uh, 17 years now. One of the commonest myth is a lot of people say that okay we uh, will get the transplant done and uh, probably then that's the end of the story and we don't need to do anything else. Uh, you actually need to take care of your existing hair as well as transplanted hair and medicines are the most important pillar of treatment. So the role of minoxidil is very very important. So let's try to understand what minoxidil is. Minoxidil is basically an antihypertensive medicine which was uh, earlier being used uh, to treat high BP patients and one of the side effects which was noticed was increased hair growth and then a lot of studies were conducted uh, and uh, it was found that minoxidil was giving consistently good results to improve the hair condition in those patients. So almost more than 30 years now minoxidil is in the market, worldwide it is available. Uh, initially it was launched in 2% and 5% strength and then uh, uh, there are different different strengths and combinations available in the market. We'll come to that. Now, how does minoxidil work? Minoxidil basically improves blood circulation in the scalp so that your hair get more nutrition. So it increases the thickness of your hair. It increases the length of your hair because the hair get more time to stay in the growing phase, anagen phase. And it also improves the hair count. So the texture of hair, you get more thickness, more fullness in that area. What it doesn't do, minoxidil will not stop your hair loss completely. Many times patients come to us and they say, uh, I'm using this but still my hair are falling. So uh, you must understand that normal hair loss won't be stopped by minoxidil. And the variations which you have in hair loss because of seasons also won't be affected. So you don't need to worry about that. Now, how does it start acting and what kind of results you expect when you start using minoxidil? So it's very important and counseling of patient before starting this is a must. A lot of patients come to us uh, for, for hair transplantation and they had earlier used minoxidil. Uh, like probably they were not informed well and they used it, then stopped it, then used it, and then stopped it. And in doing so, they actually lost a significant number of hair. So first and foremost, when you start using minoxidil, first couple of months, you may notice increase in hair loss. So that is the period when a lot of people get discouraged if they are not informed, and they uh, just stop using minoxidil. Maximum dropouts are seen during this phase only. Now. Uh, people who are brave enough or informed enough to carry on, they'll see like within three to four months of time, there will be a significant reduction in hair loss and there is increase in thickness of hair and you actually see uh, small new hair coming uh, in the areas where they were uh, very much miniaturized. Another important thing which you must know about minoxidil is you cannot stop it. If you, what happens if you stop using minoxidil? Uh, if you stop using minoxidil, the effects will be reversed. 
here again enter into telogen phase and within two to three months of time you will notice significant hair loss now many patients come to us and they say don't use minoxidil i used minoxidil and i lost almost all my hair my hair was hair loss was never so bad you know uh, until i use this medicine and now that's a myth because see if you use minoxidil for say let's say three years and then you stop using it after three years you will lose two types of hair one which were regrown by the medicine second uh, which were actually sustained because of medicine so when you stop using minoxidil both these type of hair fall and they fall suddenly it's like a flood and otherwise if you were not using minoxidil you would have already lost those hair so actually using minoxidil did not worsen your condition it actually helped helped you to retain those hair for the period which you actually used it okay so minoxidil is a good medicine it doesn't increase the pace of your hair loss but yes if you use it and then stop it then restart again a lot of people do doctor shopping and they you know they just switch the doctor and doctor switches the brand and they keep on using the same medicine but it is not going to help because every time you restart the medicine after stopping it you are not going to get the number of hair back which you had uh, in your previous usage now a very important thing when you keep on using any medicine for a long period of time your body stops responding to it or your body starts tolerating it this is called phenomena of tolerance this is so much important to understand this because um what happens like over a period of time maybe it is uh, in 12 months or 15 months or 18 months most of the patients in most of the patients we see that the effect is not as good as uh, it was in the beginning so uh, in spite of continuously using minoxidils sometimes patients note that there is still continuous hair loss and hair are falling and there is thinning of the areas so uh pharmaceutical industry also noticed this and they came up with uh 7.5% 10% 12.5% now even 15% they had to come up with these higher concentrations because 5% had stopped working but according to me this is you know not going to work because it is going to increase induce tolerance even at a faster pace or what i have been doing in my patients for past 7 to 8 years is to reduce the frequency of application so instead of using this medicine twice daily 1 ml twice daily that's how it is prescribed word wide i use this on alternate days so the application is reduced to 1/4 which makes it convenient and it delays tolerance and what i have seen there is no uh, reduction in efficacy as far as you know results are concerned so this could be one of the options and obviously uh you can give it a shot after consulting it with your dermatologist it is what are various preparations of minoxidil available in the market 2% 5% the strength wise you know it goes till 15% uh there is another preparation where topical finasteride is combined with minoxidil now this uh compound was launched almost a decade back then it was withdrawn because there were some issues regarding the safety and shelf life of the combination so my experience with this particular combination is not very good so i i don't uh, like using it and i've seen a uh, increase in hair loss after you know once i started this combination in some of my patients so but maybe you can just discuss it with your dermatologist then uh, there are some preparations which have azelaic acid which have some kind of you know irritants and uh, steroid in it now these preparation also might be helpful in a case where patient is has stopped responding to uh, the routine minoxidil preparation that will help you what are various type of preparations which are available it is available in uh, lotion form the commonest prescribed one people with long hair can use it because with a dropper because it goes right there into the skin on the scalp now 
there is another uh, preparation foam preparation gel preparation foam preparation is little user friendly people who are kind of allergic to the liquid form they sometimes they can try it and foam preparation is also more uh, aesthetic like you can style your hair so people with short hair can use this and there is another uh, preparation in it is also available in gel form now there are some alcohol free uh, preparations of minoxidil available in the market people who are allergic to minoxidil they can use the alcohol free preparations because uh, you might be allergic to the alcohol content so if you are allergic only to the alcohol content then this is the preparation for you it will help without causing any problem okay but if you are allergic to the salt per se minoxidil then in that case you will be allergic to this one also now what are the side effects of minoxidil uh, it can cause dryness on your scalp sometimes it just dries over the scalp and uh, becomes flaky and you can just see it as dandruff and sometimes it irritates a person so much that they just stop using it so that can be controlled with uh, some shampoos some ketoconazole shampoos or some other sebum cleansing shampoos and one should avoid using oil when they are using minoxidil there is another important side effect that is excessive hair growth if so in case of females we generally don't use more than 2% uh, minoxidil it should not be used in fact because uh, using a, a higher strength will cause hair growth in this area and obviously they won't like it in fact i am a bit reluctant in starting minoxidil in female patients which i see a lot of people prescribe very open handedly uh, there are many other options besides minoxidil i have uh, discussed in a separate video on female hair loss you can just go through the video that uh, the links are given in description there is no significant side effect of minoxidil some people uh, who read a lot about minoxidil they think that uh, their heartbeat is uh, getting affected because of this or their blood pressure is fluctuating i think it is more of a placebo kind of side effect because you know about it and people who are sensitive they, when they think a lot this will happen but uh, when a topical medicine is prescribed uh, the concentration at which it is given is so low that it won't be absorbed significantly in your blood you know getting absorbed in the skin and then causing fluctuation is uh, in in the bp is uh, highly unlikely so can minoxidil be combined with other treatments yes it can be combined with other treatments like biotin we give sometimes we add finasteride uh, generally i hold back finasteride and you know start with minoxidil only because in case you get tolerant to it we can just switch to the, the other medicine and we can bring finasteride into picture now can it be combined with transplant yes it is a must in fact when you get a transplant done you should start using minoxidil and you have to take care of your existing hair as well as even transplanted hair thin out many a times people think that transplant results are permanent and they stay there forever Uh, i have given the links in description you can just go through the that video where i have discussed in detail about the non permanent nature of hair transplant and that's a myth and a lot of people believe me are not going to tell you this so minoxidil is a wonderful medicine it really helps a lot and till date so many medicines have been launched in the market but Uh, we haven't found a medicine as effective as minoxidil so it should be used with proper information with proper guidance and it will really help you in your hair regrowth journey so if you have any questions about this you can ask in the comment section we'll be very happy to answer it you can call us at the given numbers you can also write to us on the given mail id We have a website called hairtransplantindia.co.in. Now, on this website, there is a lot of information about minoxidil and other hair treatment problems. You can just go through the site; you will get a lot of information. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We keep on posting videos regularly about hair care on that handle. So, 
if you like the video please uh, press the like button it will and please subscribe the channel if you haven't already subscribed it and please don't forget to press the notification button to get all the notifications of all these important videos in case you want me to make a video on any particular topic which you want that we'll be happy to do that and uh, thank you love yourself stay blessed